Hi, um, I'm Tolly and I'm the project manager at the 4A1 Challenge. Uh, last week Ben was telling you all um, that you would start seeing videos from certain members of the team explaining what they do and their kind of experience and background. So I've been nominated first um, to tell you a bit about what who I am and what I do. So as I mentioned before, I am the project manager of the 4A1 Challenge. Um, my job is to make sure that everybody else can um, do their jobs and uh, do their jobs properly and if there are any problems that kind of arise within their areas I'm kind of there as a kind of support person to help them work them out. Um, I also I also am responsible for a bit of the social media content that goes up on the 401 challenge. Um, I'm also the creative behind the 401 challenge so the logo and all the kind of designy creative stuff that is me. Um, I also do, I also look after the school visits um, and I also uh, work with the press as well to kind of make sure that you know people in the local area know about the 401 challenge. Um, and I also work uh, alongside the, um, also work alongside the charities. So I met Ben a year and a half ago when I was uh, volunteering for an anti-bullying charity and um, what I used to do there is I used to be a peer mentor so I used to work with kids that had been bullied and I used to offer kind of online support to them and just basically kind of educate them about you know the effects of bullying, how to deal with it and you know where to kind of turn to for advice and stuff so I found that found all that experience really really rewarding and um, it was through um, me volunteering at that charity that I uh, met Ben and um, was totally blown away by what he was doing and he asked me you know to come along and help him with this project and you know we've kind of been really good friends ever since and you know I'm just so proud to be a part of this it's an incredible thing um, I always kind of knew uh, when I was younger that I'd hopefully be involved in something that was really big and that was really going to change people's lives and I really do believe that this project is it and you know it's so exciting and rewarding to be a part of this and know that you know the hours that we're putting in are going to be changing people's lives. So as well as kind of um, volunteering for the 401 challenge which I probably do spend a lot of time working on this project so I probably work on it probably about 20 to 30 hours a week. Um, I also manage a bar as well so I manage a live music venue which is really really cool and you know I love doing it. Um, I've been working in hospitality for about 10 years um, alongside other things that I do because I'm one of these people that cannot just stick to one thing I always have multiple things on the go. So um, whilst I was at uni, I also worked in hospitality, but um, I uh, studied graphic design and advertising in media comms. So after I finished uni, I went off and worked for a couple of web design agencies, and then I worked for Zoopla for a bit, and then I worked for a company that designed like giant screen cinema systems and planetariums, which was really, really cool. Um, so a couple of the things that I am working on at the moment, I am currently putting together the compilation video for Ben's 200th Marathon Milestone. Um, I'm also working with Kyle, uh, Ben's partner, to plan the final marathon event, uh, which is going to be on the 5th of October, so there will be more news about that coming shortly. Um, what else am I doing? Um, I am also working on a new piece of merchandise, which we will tell you about shortly. Um, and then also kind of school visits and kind of just raising awareness of the challenge and just looking for new innovative ways to kind of reach people about what we're doing. Um, did mention before that I'm one of these people that just likes to have multiple things on the go. So as well as kind of volunteering for the 401 challenge and my job, um, I'm also going to be working at Brighton Marathon this year, which is really, really exciting. It's something that I've never done before, but um, because 
this project has kind of given me a direction of where I want to kind of take my career. Um, I got offered this role at Brighton Marathon and just thought, have to take it up. So I'm going to be working in the finish line area. Um, so I'll be in their control centre and helping out with an array of things from, you know, elite athletes finishing and um, kind of press and the charities on the charity stalls. So anything that you kind of see in the beach village I'll kind of be a part of, which is going to be really, really exciting. So um, that's basically it for me for today. Um, I hope you kind of enjoyed um, listening to my video. I think uh, Pete is going to be the next person up. So Pete is Ben's dad and he is operations manager and he's going to be telling you a little bit about his history and what he does on the project as well. So um, look out for that video. Uh, thanks again for all of your support and just all of your kind messages. Um, I know Ben, like, Ben reads them all and, you know, he is really grateful for your support. But, you know, for me as well, um, sometimes I, I get massively stressed, believe it or not. I get massively stressed and, you know, I go, oh gosh, I'm not doing enough, a good enough job or I'm not, you know, working on things as much. But reading all of your messages and just seeing how how this project is affecting you guys and what you're getting from it just is really really rewarding for me so um you know thanks again for all of your support so i'm gonna sign off now because i've got email to get back to but thanks for all your support and uh we will speak again bye bye